Steve, do you know the exact numbers? Today? No. Uh, uh, let's see, 28.81. We'll start. We'll start with uh, with this, Leona. You, nice couple couple days. You're sitting at four under, right in the contention heading into the weekend. How does it feel? And uh, how'd the game feel today specifically? Yeah, I mean, I've been been playing really solid last couple of weeks. Um, felt comfortable with my game heading into this week, and been hitting my irons a lot better, which is something I spent a lot of time working over the off season. So it's it's nice on these greens when they're so firm and sort of the, the rough areas around the greens, trying to avoid chipping as much as possible this week. And so far, I've been doing a pretty good job at that. Last year, you had, I believe it was 28.81 putts per round. This year, you're, you're uh, right just above 31. Um, what is, obviously, we haven't played that many, so we don't have a big uh, data set to work with. What is it with, with your putting that's going on right now? Uh, why is the number higher? No, why is it so good? I mean, oh. you, were, you led the tour last year. Yeah, I mean, it's it's something, I guess, in college, my coach got sick of me hearing I'm hitting so many greens and missing so many putts, and I could have been so many more under. So we spent a lot of time on it, um, learned aim point. Uh, so my green reading's been better, I think. And, uh, yeah, just I suppose that putting's a game of confidence, really, isn't it? And the more putts you see going in, the more that, that seem to go in, which is nice. You birdied the last two holes both days. Uh, what is it about those two? Yeah, I mean, I guess they, they just suit my eye. Um, hit, played them very similarly both days. Um, it's funny, 18, all the practice rounds I went for in two in the last two days I've laid up. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, I've been working a lot on my wedges, so 18's been, been good to me and just hit two really nice shots in on, on 17 both, both days. Um, obviously played them in different orders today, but... Hit a really nice seven iron in to about six feet yesterday, and I say iron in same today. So, um. Leon, I want I want to go back to your putting for a second because we a lot of times the stats can be deceiving. Mm -hmm. You can hit a green in regulation and have a lot of sixty footers. Well, you're just not going to make those. Uh, but and you can hit a green in regulation and have a lot of fifteen footers. You're going to make more of those. Mm -hmm. What is are, is your ball striking contributing to the good putting stats, or are you just making a lot of good putts? Yeah, I think it's a bit of both. I think. Um, even last week, I had I had so many chances. Last week, I felt like that didn't quite hold hold my fair share. But when you when you're hitting that iron's good, I suppose I didn't know I was leading the putting stats for most of last year because it didn't feel like I was putting that good because I was I felt like I was missing more than than I was getting. But overall, it added up to a lot lower number than than I probably thought. But yeah, my my irons are something I've relied on heavily throughout my career. Um, especially in college and, and up to the amateur game and again when I turn pro. So the better I'm hitting my irons, it takes a little bit of pressure off my putting, I guess. When did you learn aim point? Uh, midway through last year. Who, who taught you? Uh, my coach, Shane O'Grady, back home. Ah. Yeah. So I, I had been using green books before that, but I guess I wasn't using them properly, <laughs> <laughs> um, which probably didn't help. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, now that I'm doing it properly, it helps a little. Did you pick it up quickly, or did it take some time? Yeah, it was something pretty natural, actually. It was something that I'd stayed clear of for a long time. Um, I didn't like the idea of aim point, and I like playing quick, and I didn't like... I didn't want it to slow me down, but mm. it actually is really quick, and I really like the, the new way of doing it, and it's, it's really helping me on breaking putts, mm. um, which I suppose you have to allow for green, grain and stuff these last few weeks in Florida, but um, it's really helped me on on those ones seeing the ball go in and um, especially when there's a lot of break. Where are you at on the green specifically and with your putting stroke and how comfortable you feel over over a putt and you mentioned working on your short game do you feel like some aspects like working on your short game are just the next step to where we can find Leona in the winner's circle sooner than later? Yeah it's just I think fine-tuning everything um, just making as many birdies as possible and trying to get myself as far up that leaderboard as possible. Um, I didn't hit my irons as well as I would have liked last year, hence a lot of like 30 place finishes. It was consistent, but it wasn't consistently high enough. And um, I think that's been the difference these these last couple of events starting the year. Was last year kind of a nice, especially with the uh, kind of guaranteed two year at least, was it nice to ease into things last year? Yeah, for sure. I mean. Um, I suppose it was nice to see some of the golf courses that we actually got to got to play the second half of the season. Um, got to play in a few majors, which was nice as well, and just sort of tried to bank all that experience. Um, got a whole year's work in with my caddy Gary, which was nice, getting used to each other and seeing different shots and yardages and all of that. So, yeah, tried to learn as much as I could from last year and, and bring it into this year. i got to ask about uh, 
the ISPS Honda World Invitational. Modest Golf Company you work with. How exciting is that when you heard the news uh, that it would officially be on the schedule this year? Yeah, it's really exciting. I think um, the Vic Open has been really fun the last few years to play in, and it's going to be similar format, so equal prize money, which is which is massive, and it's fantastic we have an event on home soil. Um, I guess the only shame is that it's it's the week before the Olympics, and we're going to be be traveling that week. But um, yeah, I think it's it's great. Hopefully, they'll have some fans out. Irish people love their golf, and it'll be really well supported. So, um, Galgorm's a great venue for it, and it should be a great week. What's your favorite? Oh, sorry. What's your favorite replica hole? Out here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I mean, eleven. Eleven is probably. I've never played Augusta, but mm. it seems pretty realistic to me. <laughs> um, what do you hit into that green? We've been hitting either a seven or an eight iron. It's it's tricky. The wind has been swirling a lot these past couple of days, so you're really not quite sure until that ball lands where exactly it's going to go. So <laughs> it, it's a tough hole. Um, all of the replicas really are. Um, thankfully, I played the, the postage stamp replica. I said to my caddy, Gary, a lot better than I played it a few months ago. So <laughs> that's, that's progress too. <laughs> Is Troon the only of course that has the replica out here that you've played? Um, Have you played Muirfield? I have not. Yeah, I think I believe Trones the only uh, St Andrews. I've played St Andrews. St Andrews. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're the, they're the only two. I haven't haven't had the pleasure to go to Augusta yet. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Leon. Thanks. Thank Good luck this week. Thank you. Yep. Have a good weekend.